Yes, we Marshall? got that. <laughs> Fucking techno moves. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, good man, you. Yeah, spot on, mate. How are you, Matilda? You all right? I'm all good. Oh, the middle. <laughs> okay, there's more techno problems. <laughs> I'm all good, thank you. <laughs> good, good. Can you see me all right? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we can hear you, yeah. Good. I was wondering if we could take it back to uh, the 30th of July, you know, when you won your European title at Sheffield. Yeah. Just take us back to them, mate. Um, how you felt before the fight and that? Were you, were you feeling strong? Were you in a good place? Uh, yeah, did a good training camp for that. And um, uh, yeah, I felt really good for it. I was so determined to get that belt. I felt like I'd earned enough um, bare knuckle fights under my belt to get that chance. So. Yeah, and yeah, I was fucking well happy with it. Like they're on, they're both on my wall now, and, and no one will ever take them off me again. So, because <laughs> he seemed like a tough lad, the lad you were fighting, like he seemed very experienced. Yeah, he was good. I mean, I've said this before, but most people I fight are more experienced than me. Anyway, I only started when I was twenty-seven, uh, yes. not just competing, but even training in a gym. So. Everybody I fight is more experienced than me, but it it doesn't matter, man. Now bare knuckles a different whole different ball game, so yeah, uh, yeah, it just suited to me and um, and to Matilda like down to a T. I feel so we just want to prove ourselves more and more now. So it's going to be good, man. Things are going to get big. Yeah, Kosti, because it's six years you've been fighting. Is it because you first started when you went over to Sweden, in it? Yeah, exactly. I very first started when I went into a gym in Sweden, like the same gym Matilda was into. So, oh, that's six years, so. you know, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, how did you feel getting the call for both years to be fighting on the BKFC at Newcastle? Like, too good to be true. It's like, uh, and wouldn't feel the same if just one of us would go there. Like, we wanted, like, we've done it together for so long now. So, it would feel weird if we both wouldn't be. So, like, that we both are just. Still doesn't feel real. Uh, yeah, because no. it's been really hard for you to find opponents, hasn't it? Yeah, for me, yeah, yeah it is. Yeah. I wouldn't find it either, so... <laughs> <laughs> but it's really because in this world, like, it's uh, start growing in Europe, so uh, no girls have, like, have have started trying it yet, so hopefully this is... that it comes over to the UK, it's going to inspire more uh, girls around uh, Europe to uh, to try it out. Yeah, of course. Do you know much about Melanie Shah? No, like I know she likes a boxer and she's like um, unlicensed. Done some unlicensed. Yeah, and, uh, undefeated, yeah. I think, in the unlicensed boxing. Uh, but she's like going to do her debut in Bare Knuckle. Uh, yeah. But I haven't seen much footage or anything. Uh, know that she's a bit bigger and taller than me, that's all. But that's pretty much it. It's good to see. It's good to see though that women are starting to come over in the UK to the bare knuckle. Yeah, it makes me so happy. Yeah, I bet. What about you, Liam? Did you know much about Chris uh, Fishgold before the BKFC? <laughs> yeah, man. Like me and Chris, me and Fishgold are friends. Like he helped me prefer, prepare before for my title fight. So I've trained with him. We've both trained with him. I know him well. We message each other and stuff like that. So. Um, yeah. When I first got off at this fight, I did message him and like just to, to see if it was going to happen. Like, and he was like, "Yeah, fuck it, like it's just business." So, yeah, we're gonna. It's gonna be a fucking. I know. I've I followed him. You know, it's crazy. I followed him from like Cage Warriors in the UFC, and now like then I was training with him, and now now we're gonna fight each other on Big FC. It's just fucking unreal, like. It's made the platform, the spark bones just to another level, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I'm so happy to be part of like the bare knuckle, like at, at this time when it's growing, you know, which it's, it's fucking it's really nice. Yeah, so what other fights are you looking forward to that are on the card on the night? That that and Andre, we'd like to watch it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. oh. Great, the other Chris, the one we sat doing with the last one that would. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Christy. Yeah, Danny Christie, oh. yeah. Chris, oh, yeah. I would like to see them like, like, the cards again, in it. The cards massive, like so. It's gonna be the most part. It's gonna be like, yeah, everything is a really good card actually. So it's yeah. it's fun. So he's doing your full training camp out in Sweden. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 
Yeah, yeah. We, we just got back from a four-day mini camp with hype crew down in Gothenburg. So it's like south of Sweden. It's like four days, three sessions a day. It's fucking black eyes, <laughs> bruised bones. Fucking uh, destroyed off it. Like, <laughs> but it, just... it sets it sets the bar from where we go from here. We every time I fight cots, I always go down there, do four days with them, three sessions a day. And then from there, it just sets the bar from where our trainer needs to be at and where we need to go. And, like, um, yeah, it really sets a level for us to where the trainer needs to be going. Like, We're full-time workers, so it's hard to get time. Like, yeah. we only have certain days. We can't take time off a year, both time-wise and money-wise. So it's uh, we have to yeah, you do two full-time things at the same time. So mm. it's, this time we have to do it here in Sweden. But... We added some more people into our fight, like our fight camp this time in Sweden, so it feels good. Is there many people in the gym that you're training that's like thinking of turning over to Ben Knuckle? Or does it interest many people over Sweden at the moment? There is a um, not in our gym, like exactly, but did it, they do have a Ben Knuckle event over here in Sweden at the moment. It's called KSP Promotions. So yeah, I've done like night. Yeah, I've done commentary on there before, and uh, a lot of my friends and we are we're close with the guys that run it. So they're really setting the way for like uh, the bare knuckle uh, in Sweden, yeah, getting it noticed, so. and uh, they're really like helping it along the way. So uh, we do as much as we can for them, and they support us as well. So it's still illegal here, though. Yeah, it's so still it's illegal. Really, it's tricky. So that's also awesome. yeah, Swedish yeah, yeah. people. Uh, it haven't like really accepting it yet. The most people, the Swedish people, so. Yeah. So is this KSP promotions a sort of like a uh, King of the Streets thing? Like. No, nah, it's, it's yeah. only bare knuckle boxing. It's just mm -hmm. not. It's like a. It's like a proper bare knuckle event, but it's not. A, it's just not legal. So. It's uh, very it's well, a, well, well made. Yeah, it's well. It's well run. It's like small at the minute. It's got people who are like. Um, uh, never done bare knuckle before, so the first time isn't bare knuckle, and now a few of the lads have had a few fights on there, so it's going in the right direction. A lot of them fight over in um, England as well, in Bad to the Bone, so yeah. they are working alongside KSP with Bad to the Bone. So everybody in, who's involved in the bare knuckle over this side, even though it's a small group, they're like really doing everything they can to be like pushing it in the right direction. So it's really good. Thank you, Tom. Is it is the BKFC something that you'd like to do? Like, would you like to fight on one of the cards in America in the future, or is it just strictly in the UK? Yeah, of course, man. Absolutely. I mean, what we're doing now, we never ever dreamed of doing it. Like when I started fighting, I just wanted to like have a fight with the walkout song, and now we're fighting on BKFC UK. So it's they were like getting a belt, and then yeah, we're like, just then more and got more belts, and okay. now we've got belts, and now. King of the Streets and fucking BKFC, so it's just like so surreal to to us that we're that we're here and doing it together. It's fucking crazy. It's mad all in six years as well. Yeah, like, it's crazy. Crazy. yeah. <laughs> King of the Streets still an option. Like you're still doing King of the Streets and that. Yeah, I wanted to fight on the um, the past few shows, but the problem is now with me being on four and oh, uh, it's like. Uh, even though a guy's good coming in and they've never had a fight on King of the Streets, if I win that fight and they've had no experience on King, King of the Streets before, the win isn't the same anymore. So the fights won't be a fair matchup to look at me on four and oh and somebody coming in on zero. Yeah. So I need at least um, to have somebody who wants, like, I've has had two fights. Yeah. But there is, there is somebody that I do want to fight in, in the future. He fights on BKFC as well, Franco. Uh, oh, it's not like, okay. yeah, yeah. There's no disrespect or nothing. I just rate him really oh, well, yeah. really well as a fighter. Oh, and uh, he he's coming up onto his second fight now on Cop. So it just makes sense. It's the only fight that makes sense to me, and uh, it's the only direction that's going to go for him. So I would like to really make that fight happen in the future. You'll bring the best over that. That would be a great yeah. fight for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, speak of Franco. He's actually a sound geezer. He's spot on. Yeah, yeah, yeah um, I'm very like. Is King of the Streets ever going to be available for women? She, oh, I tried. She was the first person to... Um, it is available. It like. is available. No one would fight her. I think there was like 
300, 300 girls applied for it and um, none of them went, went through with it, but she wanted to fight. I think also it was named like someone want to fight Leah, like Liam's wife. <laughs> so probably that didn't help either. So I wouldn't what like did, to fight Liam's wife. <laughs> what, what, what did your man go in the king of the streets, Liam? No, nah, I don't mind. <laughs> I, I know I know she's a more of a psychopath in this type of fighting than I am. So for me, like it's built it's built for her with her like temper, with her like mental state. <laughs> yeah, this type of fighting is just really suited to her. So if she really she wants to do it, I'll support her, of course. I can imagine as well in the BKFC with Matilda, with it being like a smaller group in the females divisions. I can see her getting to the top real quick. Yeah, that's what we wanted. To, uh, that was all actually uh, uh, my goal for her. Uh, it wasn't even about me at that point because I'd already done a million times over what I ever wanted to do. But I really wanted her to get into BKFC because that's the only place with the biggest group of female fighters. So yeah. this is perfect, man. This is what we wanted for her. You know, like uh, more than anything, I want her to fight. I'd rather not fight just to make sure she can fight. She's been in a fight camp now for fucking months and months and months, you know, so <laughs> it's time for her to uh, let people know what she can do, so. 100%. And it's tricky because you need to get into the BKFC as a, as a female if you want to compete regularly, but also, like, how the hell do you get into the BKFC if you have nothing to show, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not a professional fighter either and in any other martial art I've done before. Uh, but I know this is this is my this is my side. This is my kind of fighting. So I know this is my home in fighting. Yeah, like I know you had your B, uh, your bare knuckle debut on one of the BFBA shows. But when you ask them for these fights and to be on these promotions, the first thing they want to see is um, footage and that in it. And if nobody's gonna giving you the fights, like it's I understand it being really hard to get. Yeah, exactly. She needs like. Uh, all respect to that girl who took the fight with her. She took it. She had like four pull-ups on, on that event. Oh, oh, that with, that, that um, girl took the fight on like two hours' notice. She shouldn't have been in there, probably. So it, she didn't get to show what she can do. So and uh, so this is the time. So this is going to happen now, hopefully, and uh, it's going down. Yeah, is there, is there many people travelling up to support you? Yeah. We got a couple though. We have a couple from both like uh, Spain, from Sweden, yeah. uh, and then we got the main the main people like from UK then of course. But we have a couple. So I'm super happy that we actually got support even all the way from Sweden. Yeah, because... be fifty of us, like yeah, definitely. Yeah, because I remember there was quite a lot of the Sheffield trophies, wasn't there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is the one the real one? Okay, yeah. yeah. Matilda going absolutely mental in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, I can't wait for the, the Liverpool show, you know, when that eventually happens in BKFC because it's just going to be a dream to fight in Liverpool. Like. They're, doing, they're doing one in Liverpool, I've heard. Yeah, yes, yeah, so that's what I've heard. So that, that for me is a dream. So oh. if, we can, if we can jump on that show, so I'm going to be happy, man. Yeah, definitely. Is there anything else that you'd want to uh, share with us before we wrap the interview up? I'm no. <laughs> no, nah. nah, but now nah, we're happy, man. Just uh, tune in and watch us. Will you be at the show in uh, Newcastle? Yeah. You uh, do you have like um, tickets? Is the pay per view ticket thing out yet? You know where you use your link? No, nah, we haven't got a link actually. We don't have ticket sales, like. But you're going to be there physically. Say that again, sorry. You will be there in Newcastle, right? Oh, yeah, 100%. I'll yeah. be there. Oh. Nice. Do you have any sponsors about you want to give a shout out to? Yeah, Ascari, Ronda, Offensive, uh, Bald Eagle, um, Karma Inc. Well, guys. Um, uh, Shark God, Sweden, Whittle Gas. Yeah, all of them, thanks a lot. They've, most of them have been there from the start, so uh, the, without them, it fucking make, it would make it a lot harder for us to do what we do, so we appreciate all the support. Sweet. We'll definitely catch up like in the next couple of weeks and that and do a few more Definitely, things. man. And I appreciate you taking the time for us. Oh, 100%, mate. Anytime, really appreciate you both coming on. Nice one, mate. Well, we'll stay in touch anyway and uh, we'll right. soon. Take it easy. 
See you later. Ta-da, ta-da. Nice one for tuning in, people. Respect. I was literally very lucky there because I'm on 1% on my laptop and it's not charging for some reason. I mustn't have it plugged in. But nice one for tuning in, people. It's much appreciated. I'm going to put Liam and Matilda's socials in the description on the video. So make sure you go over there and support them and follow the journey. They're fighting at the BKFC, Newcastle, 26th of November, the Ben or couple. So if you can't make it there, don't forget to get the pay-per-view. Big respect. Good night. God bless.